Hey everybody. Here look at this this um, Toshiba laptop. This replaced the Wi-Fi card in it and yes guys you may recognize this laptop from a different video where I actually did the replacement and this little Wi-Fi card was in fact bad. So anyways um, let's say that you need to install a driver and you choose to update the driver to device manager and you notice that when you um, hit update it immediately shows this message Windows cannot find driver software for this device so just let me do it again so you can see update say I want to choose search on Mac left for update driver software you know tell you to search your computer and your internet for um, the latest driver software bam instantly tells you that it wasn't able to install said device well um, sometimes in Windows 7, particularly if you install Windows 7 and you just say what well, um, Windows update um, from installing updates while you're, just, let's say you're configuring the machine, um, it also disables you from getting drivers from Windows update as well and it's in a different area. So you can click on start, right click on computer and you'll say properties. Then you'll go to advanced system settings. Come on, there you go. You'll choose the hardware tab. And right where it says device installation settings, you'll choose that. And yep, as I suspected, it's set to never install driver software for Windows Update. You can set it to um, yes, who's on Mac late recommended, and it does always install the best driver software for Windows Update. I personally don't like that option. Let's say you install a device and you already had the driver software on your machine and it will automatically check Windows Update first which that adds an unnecessary delay half the time so I use this setting here install driver software from Windows Update if it's not found on my computer so let's go ahead and minimize this other stuff and let me show you this save changes and you can see now it's going to start attempting to install drivers again and it's going to say searching Windows update. Now I need to also go in and update that unknown device driver. So that's how you can re-enable um, the ability to go online to Windows update to search for drivers from the device manager for any reason that it gets disabled. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.